are not too many of those flying around these days, what with the restriction to 15 people at weddings as well. So maybe you haven't had an RSVP and it would be quite nice to have one. Today's parable speaks of the wedding banquet and of those who were invited, and of those who were not bothered to come, and of those who were bothered to come. There are various groups. I wonder where you automatically saw yourself. Were you amongst the no-shows? Too busy. Were you among the servants, issuing the invitation, desperately trying to avoid embarrassment to your master? Were you among those who couldn't have hoped for an invitation really, but hey, you got one now because they were scraping the barrel, but who cares? You got invited and you could go. You shall go to the feast. Or for fourthly, did you see yourself in that incredibly embarrassing situation of the person who was underdressed? I think invariably our attention, of course, is drawn to that fourth person, to the person who really represents our worst nightmares. And I defy anyone who hasn't had a dream like that before, probably frequently, of finding themselves in some public place somewhere inappropriately dressed. But of course, this has very little to do with being underdressed, let alone with window dressing. A wedding robe would have been offered at the entrance for everyone to get to wear. Sitting there without one was really a sign of disrespect, not acknowledging the occasion to which they were invited. Let's be reminded of biblical language. It is by being clothed that we become the people we are called to become. The monks knew a thing or two when they were putting on a habit. The story of Christ, the pattern of Christ, the clothing of Christ. That's the template in which our own story and pattern and habit is to grow. Our habits are to grow so that we grow into the full stature of Christ. Think of clothes that are too big, but very roomy, with lots of space for growing. That's putting on Christ, growing into his stature. It is St Gregory the Great who said that Christians who were members of a church by faith, but did not have charity, were like the man who came to the marriage feast without the wedding garment because Christ came with the garment of charity, with the garment of love. So, God's boundless generosity and deep commitment to us in Jesus Christ demands a response. RSVP So I'm taking you now for our prayer to St Mary's Great Shelford, where I took a service the other Sunday. Let us pray. God, our Judge and Saviour, teach us to be open to your truth and to trust in your love, that we may live each day with confidence in the salvation which is given through Jesus Christ our Lord. 